Hello friends, welcome back to the High Master Estate, welcome back to the Kennels. We did it. We did it. At the end of the last episode, we got four Hound Masters, and then we immediately... Uh, the game just crashed. <laughs> um, but we were going to go on a medium mission to the Cove, right? No, we were going to go on a short mission to the Warrens. Let's do that. Let's do a short mission to the Warrens. But you know what? We've got some trinkets to equip with ranks three and four Hound Masters. The Warrens, um, unholy enemies, unlikely to be much of a challenge. Melee skills, unlikely to be particularly useful. I'm going to sell some of these. Uh, don't need the Jester Trinkets. Let's sort by character class restriction. Don't need Leper, Crusader, Bounty Hunter, Highwayman, Occultist, Plague Doctor. Um, not I'm unlikely ever to use the Move Amulet. Bloodthirst Ring might be okay. Book of Intuition might be okay. Damage Stone is pretty good. At least early on, um, we are going to kind of need a lot of these trinkets, I think. Um, so let's... If we're going to be dodge tanking with a dude at the back, we should probably have the Shimmering Cloak on him and maybe give him more health. No, he needs the dodge. So let's put the, the, the stun skull chance on the guy in the front. Um, have less, uh, less stress with the guy in the back as well. It's confusing because we're the four Iron Masters, obviously. Damage stone is fine on him. Minus 20% chance party surprise is good as well. Minus 1 speed isn't a huge issue. Um, I guess we... There's no point in that for an extra 2 HP. Minus 100% food consumed is meaningless. Okay, we still got some Warren scouting chance is good. Alright. This is gonna... This is gonna be fine. This is gonna be fine, don't you dare tell me it's not. Oh god, we're gonna have no inventory space ever. <laughs> oh, that's real funny. Okay, let's just go, I guess. Let's just let's just go. Four slots taken up by Hound Master Treats. Oh dear, at least, the, at least the game didn't crash on me this time. That's the that's the important thing, right? Explore 90%. I guess here is where we find out whether High Masters have an innately higher scouting chance. Because it's pretty awesome. Right, I know it's herbs. Ranks 2 and 3 are going to be doing most of our damage. And I think this is just a damage buff, right? Plus 30% damage. Fantastic. I feel like Houndmasters might just have an innately good scouting chance. That was my intuition, but I never bothered to check it out. Good scouting chance, good trap disarm. I'm starting to feel like the people who told me to do this run on a Houndmaster rather than an occultist, they were probably better at the game than me, if I had to guess. And I don't, but I'm gonna anyway. I'm just looking forward to some combat. That said though, now we've got four Hound Masters, the stakes are higher because the full rules of the challenge have kicked in now. And if I if I drop below four Hound Masters at any point, um, specifically below four Hound Masters that are able to do right. dungeons together, um, although I'm kind of in two minds about that rule in general, as I've been through numerous times, um, we're gonna have some problems. We're gonna effectively just lose the challenge. May we find victory. Awesome. This seems to be going really well. Because <laughs> I haven't fought anything yet. Oh, that'll do it. There's some fights coming up. Two fights in quick succession. I'm all for it. Oh, they're surprised, which is great. I think I just killed them, right? Be gone, fiend. I think I just murder the shit out of them. Can I stun you? Yeah, I can stun you. You're good. Ah, well, I tried. Executed with cool! Impunity. That was real good. I'm so good at this game. Aren't I good at this game? Ah, shit. Okay, you 
go to the back, you need to be taken down, man. Do I hound Harry? Only 65% chance to hit, but that's going to be the same with Hound's Rush. That's Hound's Harry, yeah. That was worth it. So the Madman is now dead. Need to kill the Swine Wretch now, but I think he's going to get a turn first. He's got 8 speed. Oh, nice. Can't do much here. Um, could Hound's Harry? No, I, I blackjacked the Swine Wretch. Cool. I did not realise that Blackjack could be used on um, on things in rank 3. That's pretty good to know. Marking will be more useful in later level dungeons, I think, um, than it is here. It'll certainly be very useful on bosses, because you can just keep a dude marked and just sm smash him in the face, you know? I want a Hound's Harry here. No, I think I just want a Hound's Rush the Swiner Edge. formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Wow. That's pretty good. Eh. Whatever. <laughs> Let's guard him, he's on lower health. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Everyone's reasonably fast, I think. Yeah, speed 8. That's pretty good. Give them no quarter. Whoa, what? How rare are these things? That's really good. Plus 2 speed, plus 15% damage, plus 10% stress isn't a huge problem. He's not doing much damage. Um, in that case, I want to... Ah, jeez. Um, Alright, let me think about this. I'm going to put that on him for now. Wait, no, that's not how it works at all. I can just do that. <laughs> Silly old Robs. Had a bit of a brain fart there. That was embarrassing. Never mind. Onwards and upwards. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Rub it in. I really want to keep these guys as low stress as possible. Even if I find one more Houndmaster, that just means that one of them gets a week off every week. So this should be it now then, there's two more rooms. Well, there's one more room, two more fights. Shouldn't be a huge problem, Swine Wretch should just die fairly quickly. Nice! Yeah, you're telling me, buddy. Honestly, I never saw one music box on my Torchless run um, that I've done since coming back to the game, and that was 65 weeks long. It's not finished yet, but... Gently. Still, 65 weeks. Never saw one. Taken. Now I've got two in like three madmen. It's crazy. This team is just destroying <laughs> the whole dungeon. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Oh no. At some point in the near future, I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. Fuck you too. Do I want the gold? Yes, I do want the gold. They're pretty much done. Let's drop the holy water. The way is lit. The path is clear. We okay. Only the strength More surprised. Like, it seems really good, right? That that trinket that's on one of them. That's just less chance of party being surprised, not more chance of enemies being surprised. Do Houndmasters have a naturally high chance to surprise enemies as well? Are they just the best class in the game? I mean, maybe they are. I don't know, man. Have I got a mark with anyone? Yeah, I'll mark this dude. Should kill him in like two hits now. That turns out to actually be a big problem. Um, not that specifically, but not knowing what order my party's in. I'm going to have to stick to um, the default party order for them the whole time. going to have to get into the habit of clicking that at the end of every single 
uh, round because they all have different skills. The enemy crumbles. So this guy should just die. Uh, maybe not quite now, but soon. Ooh, good stun, good stun. Need to deal 13 damage to him. Okay. We'll try that again. It's very unlikely to work. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a 45% chance. That's not... That's not quite as low as I thought it would be. It's like, do I want any of this stuff? Yes, I do, actually. Because you can sell them all. Any scouting? Any scouting? Any scouting? No scouting. That's fine too. Okay, let's go back to town and let's go out again, man, right away. Right away. The swine folk's labyrinth may yet prove to be navigable. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Not so much that. Will Tactician is great. Warren's Adventure and Ruin Scrander are still fine. Um, I don't care about Stress Faster, so that's pretty good. Thin Blooded is. Eh, it's bad, but it's not terrible. It's not like Curiosity level bad. We dug for months, years, and eternity. Who else have we got? And oh, another high master. Yes. Madness. Okay. You know what? I'm just, I'm so happy with how this is going. Why don't we try to kill the necromancer apprentice? Well, let's see if there's any high master trinkets available first. There are not. Let's try and kill the necromancer apprentice. Well, except you know maybe not some of these maybe. I mean that is a high master trinket, but it's not hugely important. Let's call the Necromancer Apprentice, bro. What have we got to lose? I mean, four Handmasters. Okay, let's think this through. If I go and kill the Necromancer Apprentice now and I lose, I lose the challenge. Oh, that's a rough one. Maybe we wait. Because losing a dungeon here would just be horrendous. It would just be truly awful. Ah, but I want to. I really do. And I think it'll be easy. Okay. Okay, yeah. You know what? It's gonna be it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. We'll be fine. We will be fine, buddy. Don't worry. Can you tell I'm scared? <laughs> I am really scared. Oh yeah, I didn't use any of the dog treats last time. Must remember to do that this time. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? Oh, Wayne, you're a creepy dude. So the Necromancer should be in one of these two rooms. I think one, two, three, four, five. They're five rooms away. Yeah. The boss is always in the furthest point. So we should be able to just camp in this room here. Hopefully we'll get some scouting. I'd be fairly surprised if we didn't, but I suppose it's possible. Okay. Oh, well, you guys should not be an issue. Not even worth using treats on. Precision and power. Nice. Bit of stress relief as well. I don't think stress is going to be a big problem. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of scared now. <laughs> you might think I'm playing it up for the camera. I'm really not. I'm genuinely like, we, we could just lose the challenge here. But you know, you gotta gotta live dangerously. You know what Aerosmith said? Living on the edge. Got a fight here. May only be a couple more fights. Stresses, kill the stresses. Kill them, kill, kill, kill the stresses. Kill them, please, thank you. That was a good dodge. Well struck. Nice. So the Acolyte's dead, rank 4's dead, Bone Courtier is not quite dead, unfortunately. Another hand, Harry should sort that out. Nope, he dodged it. She dodged it. Doesn't matter, they dodged it. Oh, my word. Eh, I'll hand brush it. 
it. There's no point. Okay, sure. Just completely destroy it. There's no point in, in not, I think. I'm going to just go for it. Um, need to kill you. You are now dead. This is fine. I'll accept this. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. I don't know why I went for Hans Harry there. There have probably been plenty of times so far when I've used Hans Harry and it's been appropriate. That was not one of them. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They Fuck can it. be beaten. Uh, <laughs> All right. We'll use a key. For fortune, waiting to be. I do not necessarily need the jade. Two more fights. We could camp there. Handmaster camping skills aren't generally great for um, for combat. They're more for utility, so not awesome here. Yes, I was looking for hands, Harry, <laughs> but it would have been a mistake to use it. Okay. Seems to be going okay so far. If I'm any judge, and I think so I am. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, these guys are getting biscuited. Need to make sure the bone Corsio dies, yes. 100% mate. Also, I just like clearing out inventory space. But I do want everyone to have a treat for the necromancer fight. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Hmm. No. I thought about it. I wonder if I can kill the Necromancer in the first turn. That would be pretty funny. Just mark, hands rush, hands rush, hands rush. They would have to act in the right order and I don't think they're going to, which is kind of sad. Awesome. I think that's holy water, right? Holy water and it just gives you a massive damage buff. I can get behind that. Is it holy water? No. Oh, right, so it's, um, dodge and protection, which is pretty good. But I'm going to be camping, so probably not amazing. I'm just going to camp in this room pretty much no matter what, I think. Holy water? Oh, great. Now, so with the curio use, you can't you can actually switch to the inventory um, in time, necessarily. Ah, damn it. I think it's maybe this one, because it's five... Corridor spaces away? I don't know if that's how it works. Oh, great. Oh, well, I'm going the right way. That means I should go back and camp. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course I didn't forget to camp. What kind of moron would forget to camp? A moment of respite. Let's check the let's check the camping skills, shall we? The coming horrors. Yeah, it's just stress and scouting and stuff. And that's okay. Therapy dog is really good. It's it's not ideal, <laughs> but it's fine, I suppose. Oh, sorry if you heard that. I was putting my bottle down and I accidentally just twatted the mic with it. I do apologize. This is not this is not the behavior of a true YouTube professional. Which of course I'm not, so you know. Fuck you, I guess. Be wary. Alright. We ready boys? You ready, doggos? Let's do it. 105 HP, no protection, no dodge. We should be fine. Material. 
Okay, so we mark you. Yeah. And we just hands rush, right? Well, that's not doing a huge amount of damage. It is bleeding, obviously. Let's try and stun it. 60% chance to stun. Yeah. Awesome. And he's marked. I don't really care about the Addy spawned. Well, this is just stupid. He's bleeding like fuck as well. This seems to be going really well, though. So now the Bone Rabble gets a turn. Except he doesn't, because fuck that guy. Strike. Oh, he's got 8 speed. So I think it was just luck that I went before him all the time. That's okay, he's gonna die anyway. It's not a problem, man. Well, that was, like, really anticlimactic, honestly. Go with the hands, Harry. Fuck it, YOLO. He's dead now. He's dead now. Maybe I should have gone for that guy, just kill him. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm a genius. I'm really happy with that. Oh, yeah. These things. Fuck you, okay, clicking shit is hard. <laughs> Alright. Now, you know what, I've got to own that. That was entirely my fault. But well, obviously it was my fault. Who else's fault could it be? Okay, so Sudeval, Sauvignon Blanc is level 4. Can he still go on level 1 missions? I don't think I'm going to do another mission. Not, well, not this video anyway, of course, but... We'll see. Let's just see if he can. He can. He can. Okay, well anyway, that's uh, that's that's really good. I'm very happy with that. I'm just going to quickly sell this before I forget. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.